In the newer version of ACT, you have the ability to create a contact record in ACT from a message in your Outlook inbox. I have a message in my inbox from Bill Wonderful. I don't think he's in ACT, and I certainly don't want to create a duplicate, so let's go look up ACT first to see if he is in the database. Sure enough, he's not there, so let's go back to Outlook, pop that email open so I can see more uh, details of his contact information. I can, if I like, copy some pieces of information because one of the things is that ACT will only fill in the name and the email address when it creates a new contact. So right now I'm going to click the Add Ins button, tab at this newer version of Outlook, but you may see the Create ACT contact icon just at the top among the other icons. Once I click that, it's going to start a new contact dialog where I can type in the information uh, that I can see over here at the left. It would be great if I could copy and paste into here, but it doesn't allow me to do that. So I have to fill in the information manually. If I copied some things, I could maybe paste like that. I can infer his website address from the email. If he had included address, physical address information, I could put it here. But other than that, I have everything I need. And I get a dialog that says that ACT did successfully create the message. While I'm here, if I like, I can go ahead and create that activity for tomorrow. He's asking for a call. And it's for tomorrow at 10 AM. And all I have to do is change it. I think that'll probably only be about a 30-minute call. But notice that it pulled the subject line into the regarding, and the full email message went into the details section. I have everything I need, so all I need to do is click OK. And I now know that that meeting has scheduled. And I think I'll just go ahead and reply to Bill. That sounds great. I'll give you a call. Now our meeting scheduled. I've replied to Bill. All I need to do is delete that and handle the last remaining message in my inbox. I hope this has helped you keep track of how you can create contacts from Outlook in your ACT database.